So, um, hi everyone. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of a revision on uh, certain basic mathematics principles uh, that we uh, that you guys are actually supposed to know lah uh, when coming into this differentiation thing. So one of the most commonly asked questions uh, that you guys have been asking me is this question. I don't know which number this is. I know this is C. Uh, y equals to x squared and then 1 minus 4x to the power of 4. Okay, this whole thing. Lah. So this is the most commonly asked question and actually quite a lot of you that asked me uh, yang bahagian ini bahkan sebenarnya tidak menjadi masalah yang besar sebab kamu tahu sudah macam mana membezakan. It is just bila kau sudah kasih masuk di dalam formula kan terus kau macam how do I factorize this? Okay so that's the point of today's class lah. Just to give you a few uh, reminders about how factorization is done. Okay, so the first thing to do, obviously, for this is to differentiate lah. Okay, differentiate secara berasingan. Now, this one, sorry, uh, this green color one is easy to differentiate. Okay, because they are sangat simple. It is just one term saja. So, when you differentiate, uh, it will become 2x. No problem. Okay, but this one, the red color one, uh, is a little bit more complicated. Okay, kita kena pakai chain rule. Okay, chain rule uh, di mana kamu kena buat U itu semualah. Okay, so kita keluarkan dahulu secara berasingan. Sometimes it helps. Okay, we take it out, we differentiate, then we put it back in there. Okay, so kalau Y sama dengan 1 minus 4X to the power of 4, the chain rule, we know that uh, we have to U equals to 1 minus 4X. Okay, we take everything in the kurungan 1 minus 4x, so du dx will be minus 4. Manakala, this one will be y equals to u to the power of 4, so dy du equals to 4u3. Dan kita masukkan balik u lah, 4 and then 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Lepas itu, kamu gabungkan. So the dy dx is negative 4 times 4 times 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Okay, negative 4 dari sini, ini 4 semua dari dy du lah. Okay, then kita darabkan, kita akan dapat negative 16 and then 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Baru kamu masukkan di sini. Okay, so Bahagian ini, yeah, that's why I said this part now is difficult because everything yang kamu belajar dulu kan akan diguna di sini. You have to look at the, you have to look at the the, the thing and see, okay, what kind of method differentiation should I use? The simple method, the chain rule, okay, which is why a lot of practice is important. Okay, you need to have a lot of practice so that dia menjadi kebiasaan. Okay, so, you know, I know 44 questions is a lot, but don't give up. Okay, can one, can. Okay, it's not impossible. Okay, once you have this, then we can put it into the the box box lah yang saya ajar hari tu kan yang ini uh, mana satu ah uh, this one okay this box box thing lah okay but the good news is since this is darab sahaja so we know that it sorry we know that um it, yang ini mesti darab dengan ini then yang ini mesti darab dengan ini. Okay, so the actual dy dx will be, okay, and this is where the complication starts lah. Okay, dy dx will be 2x times 1 minus 4x to the power of 4. Okay, then plus uh, x squared times negative 16 times 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Let me simplify this part. Okay, so I will get 2x and then 1 minus 4x to the power of 4 minus 16x squared and then 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Okay, and this is actually saya punya titik permulaan lah. Kebanyakan daripada orang, once dia sampai di sini kan, terus dia macam, apa lagi saya boleh buat? And how do I continue from here? Sebab jawapan di belakang buku is like a totally different thing from this. Yang paling sama pun, yang ni lah, yang 1 minus 4x saja. Tapi yang the rest kan macam, oh my goodness, apa itu? Dari mana datangnya benda itu? Okay, so that's the point of today's class. So, let me take this thing, okay, let me take this dy dx lah, yang ini, 
Okay, and let me push it to another page. So, saya bangga saja saya cakap push it to another page kan, tapi sebenarnya saya kena tulis balik ni. Okay, so dy dx, okay, is astaga, 2x, <laughs> sorry ya. Okay, 2x, 1 minus 4x to the power of 4, minus 16x squared, okay, 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Okay, the most important thing uh, that you must notice over here is that, okay, listen carefully, uh, this thing and this thing uh, are the similarity in it. Okay, 1 minus 4x to the power of 4 is actually equals to 1 minus 4x times 1 minus 4x times 1 minus 4x times 1 minus 4x. And empat kali itu kurungan diulang balik. Manakala, 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 is how many brackets? It's 3 brackets, bahkan. So, 1 minus 4x times 1 minus 4x times 1 minus 4x. Do you notice uh, that 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 has 3 brackets, which is the same as the first 3 brackets in the 1 minus 4x to the power of 4. And so actually, uh, what we can do is, saya boleh tulis ini semula sebagai 1 minus 4x to the power of 4 equals to 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 times 1 minus 4x. Saya kasih pecahkan kepada 3 dan 1. Dan kenapa saya buat begitu? Okay, why do I do that? Okay, let me... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, so why do I do this? Uh? Because here I got 4, here I got 3, right? So actually, what I can do... Okay. This is the basics of factorization, people. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what I can do uh, is I can take this one and I can change it to 2x 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 times 1 minus 4x minus 16x squared 1 minus 4x to the power of 3. Okay, and when I do that now, I find that, okay, this is one term, this is another term, satu term, satu sebutan dan satu sebutan. So since both terms uh, have 1 minus 4x to the power of 3, what I can do is I can factorize the whole thing out because they have the same thing. You see? So when I take out the 1 minus 4 to the power of 3, 1 minus 4x uh, to the power of 3, what am I left with? Okay, di sebelah kiri ini, Saya tinggal apa? 1 minus 4x to the power of 3 sudah dikasih keluar. So tinggal 2x times 1 minus 4x. And then di sebelah ini tinggal 16x kuasa 2 sahaja. Itu saja yang tinggal. Sebab 1 tolak 4x kuasa 3 telah dikeluarkan. Okay. And then the thing inside this kurungan semua sedang settle ini. Okay. Let's settle this lah. 4x to the power of 3. And then over here you get 2x, ini saya darab, ini saya darab, minus 8x squared, minus 16x squared. Okay, then saya teruskanlah, 1 minus 4x to the power of 3, then 2x minus 24x squared. Tetapi belum lengkap, because it can still be factorized. Okay, so the good news is, yang ada kuasa besar-besar ini kan, kalau kau sudah keluarkan, Tak payah sentuh sudahlah, memang cannot touch jadi. But we can still do something about this. Tengok, sini ada 2, sini ada 24. Kita boleh keluarkan 2, then di sini tinggal 12. Sini ada X, sini ada X squared. So kita boleh keluarkan X. So when you do that, what happens is you will get 1 minus 4X to the power of 3. Saya keluarkan 2X, okay, from the second kurungan. So 2x, and then what am I left with? Apa lagi yang saya tinggal? Kalau saya kasih kelel 2x, saya tinggal 1, tolak, and then this one, 12x. Okay, and this is the final answer. So, okay, so the thing about differentiation uh, yang menjadikan this particular exercises uh, susah adalah, 
Bukan yang ini tau, bukan yang mau kasih masuk ini. Yang mau kasih masuk ini yang senang. Yang selepas itu yang kamu kena factorize, factorize keluar, ya itu yang mencabar. Okay, so a good common practice lah that you must be able to see ya uh, is that when there are two things ah uh, that are the same and they are connected by a certain power kan, kasih keluar yang power yang lebih kecil. Okay, biasanya, okay, so the kebiasaan lah uh, dalam banyak-banyak soalan yang kita buat, okay, you will see the same pattern one no? On both terms ah, uh, dalam dua-dua sebutan itu, kamu akan ada satu kurungan yang ada kuasa yang besar. Okay. Tapi satu kurungan itu, dia punya kuasa itu lebih besar daripada yang satu lagi. So in this case, this one has power of four and this one is power of three. So you take out the power of three. Okay, because dua-dua ada tiga group, kan? Macam saya tunjukkan tadi lah, dua-dua ada tiga group. Tetapi satu ada tambahan satu. So you can take out the tiga group punya satu kaligus. Okay, so when you get this case, uh, one minus four x to the power of four and one minus four x to the power of three, take out the power of three. Okay, then you are left with the rest lah. Okay, here's another example. Let's say, uh, lepas kau differentiate, differentiate kan, then terus kau dapat 2x squared minus one to the power of five, two x and then plus three uh, x uh, squared and then after that two x squared minus one to the power of six. Okay, so you it, you need to notice this lah. You need to notice this and and uh, kamu harus nampak this pattern which obviously you can see ya uh, after a lot of practice kan memang kau boleh nampak sudah ini but it needs practice lah. Okay, some people satu kali jadi nampak sudah, some people you maybe need to do 10 or 20 questions before you get used to it. You see ya, uh, both of these got 2x squared minus 1 but 1 is power of 5, 1 is power of 6. So what do we take up? We take out the power of 5. You cannot take out power of 6. Uh, because not fair ma, to the power of 5 kan, dia tidak, cukup, dia tidak cukup power. So you can only take out, you must be belas kasihan lah, take out only the one with the, the less power. So you take out the power of 5, 2x squared minus 1 to the power of 5. Okay, then this term, apa lagi yang tinggal? Kalau power of 5 sudah keluar, tinggal 2x. What about the right side? 3x squared obviously masuk lah, so dia tiada kaitan. Tapi this 2x squared minus 1, power of 5 saja dikasih keluar. Sedangkan di dalam ini ada power of 6. So that means 2x squared minus 1, of course power of 1 lah. Okay, yang kemudiannya kamu akan darab masuk. Okay, and then after that you settle, settle, settle. But this basic skill lah of mengasih keluar kurungan yang powernya lebih kecil, itu sangat penting. And we see that a lot lah in the 44, <laughs> I cannot believe I gave you, how many ah? 44 or 47 ah? I can't remember lah. 40 over questions lah. You will see this again and again and again and again. Especially yang, uh, yang lebih ke belakang lah. Okay, the more behind the questions kan, makin banyak ini kau penampak. So you need to be able to see that and take it out. And that's why we call this the basics of factorization. Because actually kan ini semua sepatutnya kamu tahu sudah bahwa masa kamu di from 1 to 3. Okay, but maybe Maybe lah, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys were taught the the slightly more complicated factorization yang sampai kurungan pun kamu boleh kasih keluar. Kasih keluar saja, bah. It's just another, uh, it's just another um, thing. <laughs> okay, just another thing to kasih keluar lah. Okay, uh, yes, Elden, you raise your hand. Go ahead, go ahead. Ask a question. Uh, the, where the six go? The power of six. Where the power of six go? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at this case again lah. So you have power of 4, power of 3, right? Yes. Okay, so in the power of 4, since ah, okay, let's say ah, this is group A and this is group B lah. Okay, and you want to make it, you have a, you have a fighting match ah, and you want to make it fair to both the teams. Okay, would you if you are the if you are the group ah, if you are in if you are the leader of group A, then kamu ada empat orang makan, you can only choose three people because group B only has three people. So what happens to the fourth person? They akan tertinggal di dalam kurungan lah. Sorry, I don't know whether this this uh, this contoh makes sense or not lah. In the same way, this one ah, this group got only five people. This group got six people. Is it like so, six minus five? Correct, it's like 6 minus 5, exactly. Oh. So you're left with power of 1. 
Okay, faham sudah. Ha. Okay, so that's why di sini kan dia tinggal power of one saja. So kau sudah kasih keluarkan lima kumpulan untuk bertarung di sini. So tinggal satu kumpulan yang sedih lah masih di dalam uh, sangkar. <laughs> yeah, something like okay. that lah. Thank you sir. Okay, yeah. So as I said lah uh, before, ini this is actually the basics lah. Okay, basics of this one. Yeah. Kalau saya cakap lagi kan, terus kau mesti marah ni kan. So ni balik-balik basic, balik-balik basic. Stampar ni bukan sir. Uh, okay, hold on lah. Ada lagi beberapa orang yang tanya saya soalan. Let me check first. So this is the most commonly asked question lah. Okay, banyak yang tanya saya soalan ini. Okay, the other one yang orang lain tanya saya adalah this one. I don't know where this question comes from. This is question H. Okay, and this is Y equals to square root of X squared minus x plus 1. Okay, sorry, I don't know what number this is like h lah, but if you have done somewhat of the homework, you will probably know uh, this one lah. Okay, so, hold on lah. What is my mic on? Oh, kejap, kejap. Uh, okay, so to do this lah, uh, you have to change the square root to become the power of half. Okay, this is normal lah. Okay, x squared minus x plus 1 to the power of half. And then since this is a very weird, weird question, uh, the power of half, ini memang chain rule lah. Okay, so we use u equals to x squared minus x plus 1. So du dx will be 2x minus 1. Okay, then di sebelah kanan, y equals to u to the power of half. So dy du will be half u negative half. And this one will become half. The whole thing lah, x squared minus x plus 1 negative half. Okay, so bila kamu gabungkan kedua-dua, you are going to get dy dx equals to 2x minus 1 multiplied by half, okay, and then after that, uh, x squared minus x plus 1 to the power of negative half. Okay, so, yeah, so yang ini, darab dengan ini semua. So, the common question that I got from a lot of people is, macam mana mau simplify ini? Ada yang berjaya simplify, tetapi dia dapat jawapan lain daripada buku teks. Okay, so a lot of you, what you did was, ini darab ini, then ini darab ini lah, which is logical. So you get x minus half. And then ini, because it is uh, a negative, and then sudahlah dia half, kita bawa dia turun dan kasih punca kuasa dua. Okay, so you get like this. x squared minus x plus one. Okay, sebab dia, sebab dia adalah negative, so dia mesti berada di bawah. And then dia half, so dia mesti punca kuasa dua. But the problem is this answer and the textbook answer is different. The textbook, the textbook answer is like weird, weird, but can't. Okay, so the reason for that now is because you haven't settled this one yet, actually. Oh, X minus half ah, is a little bit different, no? X minus half, okay, kalau saya kasih dia satu sebutan, nah, it will be 2X minus 1 over 2. Macam mana saya dapat 2X minus 1 over 2, saya kasih cross multiply. Saya kasih ada, you know, dia punya macam multi, macam macam pecahan biasa lah. 3 plus 1 over 2. What do you do? Besides press the calculator, this one lah, you study since sekolah rendah, you know. What do you do? You darab ini dan darab ini bahkan supaya per 6. And then 3, sorry, 6 tambah 1. Eh, sorry, per 2. Per 2, sorry, per 2. Okay, and then 6 tambah 1, begitu, begitu. Okay, so it's the same concept over here. The pecahan fraction lah yang kamu belajar masa di sekolah rendah, nah, di sinilah pakainya. So because of that, okay, because this one, saya ubah pergi ini, ini akan memberitahu saya, di atas adalah 2x tolak 1. Di bawah adalah 2. Tetapi disebabkan ini sudah berada di bawah sedia, dia akan kekal di bawah. So, square root of x squared minus x plus 1. This is our final answer. 
Okay, this is the second most commonly asked question by a lot of you. Because ramai yang sampai sini kan, then tengoklah jawapan di belakang kan. Alamak, dari mana datang ini dua di sini? Ya, dari sini lah. Okay, kita kasih sama dia punya pembawa. Okay, sama dia punya pembawa is fraction yang kamu belajar di sekolah rendah. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So part of the key to success huh, in Form 5 at maths lah, generally in at maths kan, is everything you learn since standard one huh, everything is used in at maths. Yeah, so that's the tough part lah. Okay, so be careful about this lah. Ini, ini saya memang nampak biasa ni. Final jawapan kan tidak boleh ada fraction kalau dia sudah ada fraction sedia. Yeah, kita tidak boleh ada a fraction, a fraction in a fraction, tak boleh. So like, let's say for example, 3 over 2 over 3 macam ni kan, tak boleh ni, kau kena ubah. Kalau lepas kau kira-kira kan, suka dapat 3 over 2 over 3. You still have to change this. Okay, you have to bring these two to the bottom. So 3 over 2 times 3. They become 3 over 6. Which is 1 over 2 lah. Okay. Um... I suspect lah, okay, I suspect that bila saya cakap begini kan, kenapa ini dua boleh turun ke bawah kan? Um, saya punya pers saya punya jawapan adalah memang itulah peraturannya sis. Okay, yang di atas di atas, yang di bawah di bawah. So, memandangkan ini sudah di bawah sedia, kau bawa dia ke bawah turun. Dia macam hukum alam. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how else to explain. It's really hukum alam, you know. Kalau dia sudah pecahan, dan dia di bawah, letak dia di bawah, jangan letak dia di atas. Oh, sorry, sorry, yes. To answer Deshanel's question, ah, so that's dia tanya, selagi belum completely factorized, selagi itulah, uh, itu bukan jawapan akhir, bahkan. Okay. So, uh, secara amnya lah, okay, secara amnya, almost, actually, no, not almost, every answer in your textbook is the final correct answer. Okay, is the final correct answer. Tetapi, okay, tetapi, let's say in this case, ah, in this soalan, katakan kamu stop di sini lah. Okay, kalau kamu stop di sini, usually, okay, dia tidak akan terima sebab masih lagi boleh difaktor. There are some cases ah, where kalau kau faktor pun tiada beza, kalau kau tidak faktor pun tiada beza. Tapi itu sangat jarang lah. Okay, I would advise you to, if you can factorize, factorize it up. Okay, memang kata kunci pada malam ini kita ini adalah perkataan factorize. Benda yang kamu belajar dulu masa di tingkatan dua. Okay, and now you are seeing this again lah. Okay, factorize itu sangat penting. And this one you cannot use EQN. Lah. Sorry, there's no magic formula in your calculator to help you to factorize. Dia memang mengambil keluar benda yang sama daripada dua kumpulan berbeza. Uh, 2.5, 1... D. 2.5 1C D. 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 Okay. Okay, this is a good question. So y equals to x squared then this is 1 minus 2x squared. Begitu kan? Am I reading this correctly? Yeah. This is the one, Maya? Uh, yeah. Okay. So obviously, since this is the square root now, you have to change this to x squared and then 1 minus 2x squared power of half. Ini biasa dulu lah. Okay, then you differentiate the sebelah kiri dan sebelah kanan. So you do the partial differentiation. Okay, separuh differentiate. So ini akan jadi 2x. Tapi ini yang kalut sikit lah. Terpaksa kamu pakai chain rule. So annoying. Okay, so kita pakai chain rule dulu. y equals to 1 minus 2x squared power of half. And then selepas itu, u sama dengan 1 minus 2x squared. Makan kita kasih ini sama dengan u, manakala y equals to u to the power of half. So ini akan jadi du dx equals to minus 4x and dy du akan jadi setengah u negative half. This is almost the same question as the one just now. Lah. Okay, so bila kita gabung dy dx akan jadi negative 4x times half times 1 minus 2x squared to the power of negative half. 
okay. semakin lama semakin ano semakin kalut. Okay, let's settle this first ah. Sebelum kita masukkan ke sini, okay, kita settle dulu Se sejauh mana yang kamu boleh settle di sini kita settlekan. So this one mungkin potong, you akan dapat negative x over 1 minus 2 x squared punca kuasa 2 sebab dia adalah negatif dan half. Okay, baru kamu masuk di sini. So negative x over square root of 1 minus 2 x squared. So bukan negatif 2 x kah? Ada dy dx punya negatif 4 times 1 over 2. Ya, yeah, negatif 4 x times 1 over 2 is negative. Sorry, awak dah. Negative 4x times 1 over 2. Yeah, not negative. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Negative 2x. Okay, thank you, thank you. Negative 2x. Okay. So, when we combine this together, ini darab ini, ini darab ini lah makan. Okay, so, dy dx will give you... Oh my word. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. 2x. <laughs> yeah, this kind of makes you like, kenapa bah susahnya hidup ni kan? 1 minus 2x squared. 1 minus 2x squared to the power of half plus, plus this one, right? Okay, so x squared. x squared and then, astaga, negative 2x over square root of 1 minus 2x squared. Is this correct? Uh, yeah, looks correct lah kan? Okay, so first thing we do is we settle the one yang boleh di settle lah, which is this. Okay, so this will give us 2x. <sighs> I'm not having fun with this question. Okay, 1 minus 2x squared minus 2x cubed over square root of 1 minus 2x squared. <laughs> Sorry. I need to take deep, deep breaths. Hold on. Let me just check something. Uh, okay. So, how do we simplify this? Is the problem now? Kan? Okay. So, how do we simplify this? Is we have to kasi sama dia punya pembawa. Remember what I showed you just now? Kalau kamu ada 3 plus 1 over x, makan. How do you kasih sama dengan pembawa? You get 3x over x plus 1 over x. So, bila kamu gabung, you get 3x plus 1 over x. Basically, it's cross multiply lah. Okay, yang tiada sebutan itu, kau kasih darab dengan ini. So, basically, this thing, okay, ini, kamu darab dengan ini. Supaya kamu boleh kasih sama dia punya pembawa. So, 2x, then you get 1 minus 2x squared times 1 minus 2x squared, both of them are square rooted, minus 2x cubed over square root of 1 minus 2x squared. Okay, so the good news is, ini dan ini, dia akan jadi satu sajalah, sebab dia square root, darab square root, dia akan jadi itulah. So this will be 2x times 1 minus 2x squared minus 2x cubed over square root of 1 minus 2x squared. Then selepas itu kamu settle sendiri. Saya tunjuk sampai sini saja. Okay, so this idea of mengasih sama pembawa is the, <laughs> yeah, is maybe probably the other thing that we also need to learn. Lah. Even if the pembawa is very colored, Okay, like super complicated. Say for example, uh, 3x plus uh, x squared over ax plus b. So how do you make the pembawa the same? Yang ini sama ini kau kasih darab. Supaya semua di bawah ax plus b is to be 3x times ax plus b plus x squared. Ini, this one, kita tidak darab dengan ax plus b sebab dia punya bawah ada sudah sedia ba? The one yang tiada pembawa, itu yang kamu kena darab, yang kamu kena cross multiply. Okay, another possible situation is, macam mana kalau dua-dua yang kamu cross multiply tidak sama. For example, 
3x over uh, ax plus b plus x squared over cx plus d. Oh, macam mana kalau dua-dua tidak sama? It's okay. Okay, kasih cross multiply. Ini darab ini, ini darab ini, and then ini darab ini. So what you will get is, semuanya di bawah akan saling mendarab. So ax plus b, cx plus d, and then kamu cross multiply. So ini 3x akan darab dengan cx plus d. And then ini x squared akan darab dengan ax plus b. Dan lepas itu kamu boleh simplify. Okay. Kamu, wow, kamu tengok bah. This page uh, has more letters than numbers. Okay, are we really learning maths or are we really, are we learning English? <laughs> okay, but this, ini, okay, perkara ini guys, perkara ini sebenarnya macam saya cakap lah, ini adalah benda yang kamu belajar masa di sekolah rendah. Cuma, kamu tidak pakai huruf, kamu banyak pakai nombor. Okay, but the concept is the same. Kalau yang pembawa tidak sama, you cross multiply to make it the same. Then you can simplify like this particular question. Okay, so so yeah, a lot of skills ah yang kita kena brush up lah. Okay, and that's why I'm purposely not really teaching this chapter very fast. This chapter kan actually boleh habis kecap saja ini. Tapi this kemahiran kan memang kamu kena, you have to build the kemahiran lah. And I understand that. I understand that you need time to build the kemahiran. Tapi guys, jangan give up. Okay, saya harap, uh, yeah, saya harap by the end of the year kan, saya boleh drum all these admits into you lah. Every day is admits. <laughs> Every day kau buat admits kan, confirm kamu akan berjaya. Wow, kata-kata motivasi. Sir. Yes. Jadi yang example tadi tu, the yang ax yang itu tu. Ah. Uh, so after simplify tinggal 3x plus x square kah saja. Eh tidak. Oh cannot cut kah? You are thinking about you are thinking about you are thinking about this one kah? Cannot cut. Cannot cut. Cannot. Okay. Okay. This is another. Okay. This is another common problem ah. Okay. Mana yang boleh cut? Mana yang tidak boleh cut? Atau dua-dua boleh cut? Atau dua-dua tidak boleh cut? Kiri boleh. Um. Okay. Kiri boleh. Kanan? Cannot. Tidak. Why kanan cannot? Kenapa kanan tidak boleh? Because the... <laughs> ha. uh. Okay. So this is an important thing. Huh? I think maybe... Okay, sorry. Uh, we go back to form 1 lah. Let's say uh, a sorry uh, you have an equation uh, you have an expression uh, an algebraic expression a plus b x plus three contohnya okay a plus b and then you have another one which is just a okay so uh, ini ini just a ini ini adalah one term satu ayat dengan satu term saja so there's only one thing there one term a plus B is two terms. One term, one term. So there are two terms in this particular line. In this line, there are three terms. A is one term, BX is another term, and then three is another term. So all the terms, uh, terms, terms in A, okay, dia dipisahkan uh, oleh tanda tambah dan tolak sahaja. Okay, kalau dia adalah darab dan bahagikan, dia dikumpulkan sebagai satu term. But the tambah and the tolak, plus and minus, uh, differentiates the terms. Okay, so in the left case, uh, sini ada satu term sahaja, which is 2x squared, is one term. Because tiada tambah tolak di sana, semua darab saja kan? And then 3x is also one term. So when the situation is one term, one term, then you can potong sesuka hati. Okay, saya selalu nampak ah, ramai orang dia akan potong sini dan sini ya. So, terus jawapannya 2 plus x over 3. Sepak muka. Okay, tak boleh. Because on this, on sebelah kanan, okay, yang sebelah kanan ini, ini adalah two terms. Ini adalah one term. Cannot. Okay, you cannot do the direct cutting macam ini. 
Okay, masih kade boleh disimplify boleh. We can simplify this by splitting it. Okay, when we split it, we will get two over three x plus x squared over three x. Now, kau tengok di sini. This kumpulan kan one term one term. This kumpulan one term one term. Tetapi semuanya adalah two terms. Okay, semuanya two terms doesn't matter. Tetapi when you have a group with one term, one term, kamu boleh potong. Okay, jadi yang ini, okay, yang ini memang tidak boleh buat apa-apa lah. Dua, tiga dan X. Tiada benda yang kamu boleh potong. Tetapi sini boleh. Sini X kuasa dua kamu boleh potong, sini X kamu boleh potong. So you are going to be left with two over three X plus X over three. Which is totally fine. Okay, so sama ada jawapan akhir kamu begini atau jawapan akhir kamu kau kasih tinggal lah begini pun boleh sebenarnya. Okay, yang saya bikin gerigitan lah sebenarnya ini tau. Ini sudah jawapan akhir ini. Kamu boleh stop di sini. But because ramai yang lupa pasal ini terms-terms kan tu sini nampak wow atas ada X, bawah ada X. Maka kita potonglah itu X. Sorry guys, dia bukan pasal potong-potong sesuka hati tau. You can potong if the number of the terms are the same. That's the rule that everybody needs to remember. Yang saya, oh my gosh, saya banyak nampak ini ni. Okay, bukan kelas kamu saja. SA pun buat begitu, SC pun buat begitu. Okay, this, apa? This is a, this is a no mistake, you know. Okay, guys, it's really no. Sepertinya saya bermain Mobile Legends. I'm a really no lah. Okay, kalau saya main Among Us Mobile Legends kan, memang saya akan kalah lah. But this, guys, this is a no, is a rookie mistake. Okay, that you cannot do ah uh, at this level. Never, never do this because menunjukkan yang kamu tidak faham ah uh, perbezaan antara term, term one. Uh, sorry, first one term, two term, three term. Okay, so be very careful with this. Tahu bila kamu boleh potong dan bila kamu tidak boleh potong. Okay, don't make this rookie mistake. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, coming back to this. <laughs> Ya, yeah, coming back to this, kamu tengok ah, so macam si Elden tanya tadi lah, bolehkah ini dan ini kena potong? Tak boleh, tak boleh. You know why tak boleh? Because ada tambah di sini. So this is one term, this is one term. Tapi di bawah hanya ada one term sahaja. So bilangan termsnya tidak sama, tak boleh. Okay, as long as you see ya a plus or minus sign. Okay, yang mengseparatkan terms kan, don't even bother with the potong-potong. Okay, don't even bother with the potong-potong. <laughs> okay, macam ini sesi ni kan, macam sesi membebel saja. So, Marcus ni membebel pasal benda yang kami telah belajar masa form 2. So, that's the final answer lah. This one? Yeah. You're talking about this one lah? Yes. Uh, actually, not yet lah. It can still be, oh my goodness, do you really want to go over there? Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> jahat, oh, si Elden ni. Okay, if I want to continue from here, what I would do is, I would multiply everything in lah. Okay, so I'll get 3, 3CX squared plus 3XD plus AX cubed plus bx squared over ax plus b cx plus d. I would not touch the di bawah sebab dia sudah kena faktor sebiar. Okay, but the top mah, okay, the top, if you can factorize out, uh, it will be better. But you notice that actually this one and this one is the same. So what I would do is 3c plus b x squared plus a eh, tidak lah. No, 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 sorry, sorry. What I would do is I would take out the x first. So, saya kasi keluar x. So, tak tinggal 3cx plus 3d plus ax squared plus bx. This will be my final answer. Okay. Yeah, this will be my final answer. Macam ni lah, something like this. Properly, yeah. Macam sudah kena factorize completely. Okay, notice ah. Okay, notice that when something is properly factorized, right? This whole thing ah is one term. It's properly factorized. Everything is one term. This whole thing is 
one term. In this situation kan tadi, ini kan, ini adalah two terms mah. So that's why I say it's not properly factorized yet because masih ada perbezaan antara term. But when you have everything uh, as one lah, dan tiada tambah dan tolak yang membahagi, that's one term. So I would say that is a better answer lah. One term per one term. Daripada banyak-banyak term. Which is why ya, uh, sorry, as which is why if you remember from this example right okay this are the quotient differentiation uh, i said yang di bawah sini kan jangan sentuh sebab dia sudah one term don't expand it you know so when you do this kan ah uh, ini kan 2x minus 7 squared kan jangan kembangkan because when you kembangkan dia akan jadi three terms 4x squared minus ah uh, 28x plus 49 dia akan jadi one two three terms tidak cantik sudah we only want one term. That's why I said, kalau kamu pakai quotient kan, lepas kau kasih kuasa dua, don't touch. Kasih biar saja satu term. So, saya ada send question di telegram. Ah, tak tak, kejap. Okay, so. So. Um, okay, kejap. Ha? Azim punya soalan. Okay, Azim punya soalan is, how do I factorize this? So, wow, okay, okay, okay. So Aziz's question is 3x, ooh, okay, x plus 5x to the power of 4. Are you sure this is a legit question, Azim? Kenapa x plus 5x ni kamu tidak kasih settle? 4x squared plus 5 to the power of 7. This is uh, Sharon's question, but Azim, can you double check? Is this correct, x plus 5x ka this? And you want me to factorize this? Contoh uh, 5x squared lah. Okay, 5x squared. Oh. Did you just create this question just to test my skill? Kah, itu? <laughs> you know, this method lah. Huh? Okay, okay. But sometimes, uh, okay, sometimes you have to admit defeat lah, you know. Kalau some things cannot be factorized, Jangan cari pasal bahawa factorize, factorize lagi lah. Okay. For this ah, uh, what I would do is I would take out the x. 3x plus 5x squared power of 4 plus 2 4x cubed plus 5 power of 7 close the chapter. Then ah, uh, it becomes one term sudah. So, up senior the x, senior the x. This is the best I can factorize this. Okay, I cannot do anything ah because dalam dua kurungan ini langsung tidak sama. <laughs> it's not just sikit sama tak dia langsung tidak sama. Just now yang saya cakapkan yang kamu kasih keluarkan dia mesti exactly sama baru kamu boleh kasih keluar yang which contoh. Ah yang ini contoh tadi kan dia mesti exactly sama bah one minus four x dua dua mesti one minus four x dia mesti exactly sama then you can take it out. But in this example that you are giving me, okay, this is the best I can factorize, I think. Because these two kurungan kan, they are totally different, but it's not even the same. So I cannot touch that one at all. So the only one I can touch is the 3x and the 2x. Out of which, saya hanya boleh kasih keluar x. But the good news is, this whole thing is one term. Manakala ini adalah two terms. Sebab ada tanda tambah. So one group tambah another group. This is one whole group. Satu, I mean X darab dengan one whole group is one term. In, uh, in max. Good question though. Although I don't understand why you ask me this question. But it's a, I mean it's good for us to learn. Lah. Okay, any more questions? Anybody? Can ask here or you can send it to me in Telegram. <laughs> Saya kelucuan banyak. Hantar saya soalan dalam telegram padahal I'm right in front of you. Anyway. Um, Any other uh, questions? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, kalau yang 2.5 eh, exercise 2.5 yang question 1F yang dua-dua bracket tu mau guna chain rule kah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Bikin benci oh kan? Power of 3 and x minus 4, power of 4. Okay, so guys, uh, 
actually kan, once you have learned the chain rule, huh, it's always a good idea to use the chain rule bila kamu ada bracket dan power. Any bracket yang ada power, guna chain rule saja. Then you don't have to remember so many other things, no? like, okay, tak payah. Just use chain rule. It's easier, actually. Then good practice also. Lah. Okay. Good question. Sorry. Anybody else? Oh, sorry. Ah, kejap. Saya tengok dulu apa soalan pandas. Kalau need pakai chain rule. Kalau no need pakai chain rule, darab biasa bolehkah? So you're talking about this example, kan? Adakah kurungan ini boleh darab dengan kurungan ini? <laughs> Is that your question, Fandes? Itu kan yang kamu mau cakap? Uh, I mean kan kalau mau cari yang kedua tu, saya darab dia 3 terus bracket x plus 5 in the power of 2. Begitu je boleh tak? Kenapa saya buat di y, di y, di y. Okay. Okay, so uh, how do I say this now? I think it depends on uh, kamu punya personal choice lah. Okay, actually kalau kamu tahu sudah kan, kamu sekali nampak kan kau memang tahu about 3x plus 5 to the power of 2. Memang kau nampak ini. I mean, if you have done, yeah, practice kan, you will see that this happens lah. And then this one uh, will be 4x minus 4 to the power of 3. Habis. Okay. But some people, they, some people, uh, and saya bukan mengecap sesiapa lah, tapi ini reality lah. Some people, they cannot see it immediately. So sometimes it's good to use chain rule. So that, sebab kamu tahu, chain rule lah memang never fail. Memang dia foolproof. Kau akan betul. But like funders lah, if you can see, kamu nampak saja kan terus kau begini kan, boleh, go ahead. Ah, cuma funders, kalau dia punya bracket begini ya, ah, ini tak boleh ya, cannot. Because the X is ada squared di dalam. Ada squared di dalam, jangan buat begini. Ini memang kena chain rule. This situation kan, memang kena chain rule. Okay, tapi this situation, di mana X nya adalah kuasa satu, if you are, if you can do this, Boleh kamu boleh lompat dari sini terus pergi sini differentiation? Okay, boleh teruskan. Tak payah guna chain rule pun tidak apa. Okay, cuma kalau dia square, mesti pakai chain rule. Okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. Alright, any other questions? Uh, I got that fine. Question. <sighs> so now, you unmute yourself just... <laughs> you unmute yourself just to tell me that you got send me question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, this is F. Uh. Which F is this one? Yeah, after I done the apa, uh, chain rule. And then I blur out. <laughs> oh, is this? Oh, this is the same question as Fandes' question. Yeah, same question, okay. but um, almost. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's see. Uh. Uh, so, obviously, we're talking about this one, this one, this one, this one lah. Okay, so the dy dx will be, oh my goodness, x plus 5 to the power of 3 times 4 times x minus 4 to the power of 3 plus x minus 4 to the power of 4 times 3 times x plus 5 to the power of 2. Okay, so in this case, you have to, oh dear, sorry, baru saya mau tulis. Kejap. Okay, x minus 4 to the power of 3 plus x minus 4 to the power of 4 times 3 x plus 5 squared. Is that correct, Sean? Uh, let me just check again, see your work. Uh, x plus 5 to the minus... Oh, okay, you did it the other way around. Now. Okay. Mm, okay, so important thing to notice here is now there are two groups of same bracket. One is the x plus 5 group. And then the second one is the x minus 4 group. The 4 and 3 is just nothing. Lah. They can't do much. Lah. Okay. So we settle first. The x plus 5 group. Okay. This group got 3 people. This group got 2 people. So how many can we take out? We can take out 2. Lah. Okay. So that one you take out first. Okay. x plus 5. Take out 2. Okay. Now we settle the green group. Green group is x minus 4 power of 3, x minus 4 power of 4. Which one do we take out? We take out the power of 3 because itu yang kurang. Okay, so x minus 4 power of 3. Okay, which so far I'm seeing Sean is doing not bad lah. 
Okay, now let's settle the rest. Kalau x plus 5 sudah keluar 2, tapi di sini ada 3 bahkan. Okay. Ah, di sini ada 3 kan? So, akan tinggal satu group x plus 5 di dalam sini. Times with 4. X minus 4 power of 3, semua sudah dikeluarkan. So, nothing much you can do there. Okay. Plus, okay. X minus 4 to the power of 4. Baru jadi dikeluarkan power of 3. So, tinggal satu group X minus 4. Times 3, and then you tutup cerita. Sebab kuasa 2 sudah dikasih keluar. Okay, then all you need to do is set up the black color bracket. Which I think Sean has got... Correct law, Sean. I don't see what's the problem. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, salah sudah, salah sudah. Yeah, but you you can work from here, right? Sini boleh lah kan? Ini senang ini. Uh, okay. my second step wrong lah. Oh, this step lah. I forgot to factorize the x minus four. Ah, okay, yes, yeah. because yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, so you know. When you factorize, I'll try to take out many similar things. Benda yang sama, kasih keluar, kasih keluar, kasih keluar. Okay, once again, uh, this is uh, skill. Uh, skill yang not impossible to obtain, okay? It can be obtained, but you must work through it. <laughs> Banyak kali sudah saya cakap ni benda yang sama ini. Okay, kamu mesti sanggup untuk bekerja. Okay, untuk mendapatkan skill ini. Kan, Fandas, mau jadi magician berjaya kan, mesti banyak praktis kan? Yeah. Sama juga macam Edmets. Betul. Kan? Mana ada orang yang satu kali terus begini sudah, wow bro, tiada. Takes months, weeks Mata and weeks. Uh, hours and hours of effort. Okay, just like playing the Rubik's Cube. Tiada orang, uh, kecuali kalau kamu genius betul kan, yang first time kau ini kan, 10 seconds boleh solve sudah. Wah, tiada. Okay, it is months and months of effort. So Edmets pun begitu. Okay, jadi, jayo guys, don't give up. Eh, yo, saya sedih oh, tiada si Jared ni hari. Oh well. Okay, any other questions? Sir. Yes, Sir, Kiki. Self exercise 2.5 to be boleh macam bikin pening di dalam mata. 2.5 to be ya. Oh, okay. Is this going to be one of those sessions uh, where saya jawab semua soalan untuk kamu terus kau salin jad jawapan gitu. Janganlah, yeah, bisa. <laughs> Jangan juga. Uh, self exercise 2.5 to be bahkan. Okay, x plus 2 over x. Oh my goodness. And then x squared minus 1 over x. Okay. There are a couple of ways to do this lah. Okay, there are a couple of ways to do this. I would say that since there is no power here and no power here, right? Saya carangkan kamu darab saja. So, X darab ini, X darab ini, ini darab ini, and then ini darab ini. So, X times X squared will be X cubed. X times minus 1 over X will be minus 1. Oh, dia suruh kamu guna product kah? Kejap. Oh, mesti yeah. use product rule kah? Eh, kurang ajar. Okay, fine. <laughs> Kalau use product rule, ah. Uh, Okay, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. So sometimes, arahan soalan lah yang bikin. Yeah. Okay. So product rule lah. Let's differentiate this and this. Okay. So this will give you one. Uh, this one is actually two x to the power negative one, bahkan. So you get one minus two x to the power of negative two. Okay. This one is actually x to the power negative one. So this will be two x. Uh, plus x to the power of negative 2. Begini. Hmm. Okay. So your dy dx okay, will be uh, okay, ini darah ini, ini darah ini. So 2x plus uh, 1 over x squared times x plus 2 over x. Okay. This first group lah yang ini. And the second group is x squared minus 1 over x times 1 minus 2 over x squared. Okay, then kamu darab satu per satu. Begini, begini. And then simplify. Okay, saya tunjuk sampai sini sajalah. Because after this is all algebra yang biasa sudah. Tinggal kau darab, 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 darab saja. Sir, so, 
How to yes. get negative two? How to get negative two? Uh, negative one oh. minus one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, any other questions? Self exercise 2.5 question. Question what H2? 5H ka? Why do you all insist on asking me the most interesting questions? Okay, self exercise 2.5 question 5H. Was it Rose? 5H, huh? So y equals to 4x plus 1 over 3x squared minus 7. Is this the one, Rose? Everything square root? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> since the whole thing is square root, uh, okay, what I can do is I can separate the square root. 4x plus 1 over square root 3x squared minus 7. Which means that this will be 4x plus 1 power of half over 3x squared minus 7, the whole thing power of half. And any chain rule, any chain rule, then kasi gabung. Sorry, saya tunjang sampai sini saja. <laughs> Bukan sebab saya malas, tetapi the step is the same tau. It's just how to ubah supaya dalam bentuk yang kamu senang nampak ba. Okay, tapi atas chain rule, bawah chain rule, then bring it all together. Honest, honest. Okay, saya saya janji ini. This question is actually not difficult. Okay, cuma dia banyak, adalah, banyak square root saja. Yeah, so the square roots, you know, just if it's the whole thing square root, that means atas pun square root, bawah pun square root. So, kasih power of half saja. So, totally no problem. Yes. Yang ni guna quotient differentiation tu kan? Correct, quotient differentiation. So, yang di bawah itu, bila kamu sudah kuasa dua, bahkan it will so the final answer kan di bawah tinggal 3x squared minus 7. So, kalau sudah kuasa 2 di bawah sini, dia akan jadi beginilah. 